it's a lot of just work. All the markets are like this to get started. And so, but it's exciting too. It's a new morning, you know, people are there with vegetables. You're seeing what's there. So you're looking at what's come in that, that day. And, um, and you're saying hi to people and catching up on news. And a lot of times there's news. And so, you know, it's just a very hectic first hour. And then our market is popular, very popular now. As you know, we now have a permanent site. This is our fifth year. And um, so it, people are used to us being here and they want to be here because it's a sort of garden-like place. You see that I'm sitting at the Orno in, in, our, in our wildflower garden here. And so um, the customers come even before they should come. And some of them are there with their EBT cards and I have to get out my machine and turn it on. And others are there with their prescriptions for RX. So there's a lot, there's a lot going on in the beginning. But I started working at this market when it was at Don Diego way back there behind the plaza, a very small market. A lot of the same farmers are still here and we were just a few of us. And then I was at the site on the plaza where we were beat by smithereens to the wind during the drought. And then we were over there down the street in front of the, the, the college, in front of the commercial kitchen where I got heat stroke one day because it was so hot on the asphalt. And now we're here, and it's wonderful to have the site. We worked very hard to get the site from the legislature. And now that we have the site, it's great to see it. Each year it's developed more. Well, I think we're the only market in the state with water rights. I'm pretty sure that that's true. A couple of other markets, I'm pretty sure we're the only market in the state with water rights. A couple of other markets are in parks, like at Santa Cruz and at... Um, um, there's another one near Albuquerque, but they, they can't cultivate the way we can. So I think we're the only market now. This is our first year we've had the community gardens. We have 3.19 acres with water rights. So um, the first four years, this is our fifth year here. The first four years we had to work on getting the market site developed. And then we started right away in this flower garden where I'm sitting now. And then each year we were able to, every year I've gotten small grants to hire kids. So I've had like five to six kids employed in the summers, students, teenagers, and they built this Orno. It was really fun two years ago, and they made adobes, a 305 adobes here with the dirt from the market. And this year they were cooking in the Orno, learning how to cook in the Orno. Some of the same students, some new students too. We made the flower garden beds, and we got people to adopt ovals, so different ones of us have adopted an oval to do whatever we want to for flowers. Some people have also grown corn. It's not all flowers. It's totally up to the people that have adopted the oval. And then this year, we've been able to have the community gardens. So we've had three different groups of community gardeners working in the community garden in the back. So we're the only market that has this much cultivation going on at the same time as having a farmer's market. So it's really becoming like a living space, not just the farmer's market, but a living cultural space.